So, something I've fallen victim to over time is I do things like I get so caught up in like my creative whirlwind that I just want to kind of keep making things and you know, that's a good thing, but what it ends up doing sometimes is making me rush the other things to get to the next thing I'm excited about. And I'm here today to tell you all to stop rushing yourself. I understand you want to get to the next exciting thing, but if you do that, your mind isn't on what you're currently working on or whatever is before that thing you're really looking forward to. And if you don't pay attention to what you're currently doing, uh, you can't really expect to improve much because you're not focusing on it, you're not looking to learn. So keep your mind on what you're facing just in the moment because that's what's going to teach you how to be better and you want that anyway because you want that thing you're really looking forward to to be really good. So make sure that you're focusing on what you're doing currently so that by the time you get there, you will be able to do it well. I know there's that whole rule of like put 10,000 hours into anything and you'll be great at it and a lot of people say like make 100 videos and you'll start doing better, but that it's not going to compound like that if you're not paying attention to what you're not doing right and need to do better. I'll give you an example of this from uh, my own life recently, like I've been really into chess lately, so I've been playing chess online and I'm really enjoying it. And uh, I've been playing a lot of rapid games, which is when each player gets 10 minutes on the clock, right? And I was having a really good time playing it and wanted to get better at it, so I was like, okay, well I better play a lot of rapid games and eventually I'll do better, right? I was in that 10,000 hour mindset. So I started playing and I played for a good month or so of like a bunch of rapid games and I'm like, you know, I'm not seeing much improvement. I wonder why that is. And it was because I was playing a lot of games, but I wasn't paying attention to where I was making mistakes during them. I wasn't attempting, or at least attempting all that much to learn the patterns of things. So, and you know, chess especially is very much pattern recognition, so I wasn't paying attention to those things, so therefore it makes sense that I wasn't getting any better because even though I was making the mistakes, I wasn't learning from them. And it's a double-sided coin because there's plenty of people who will complete something and be like, well, I don't see what's wrong with it, but everyone else can see what's wrong with it. I've been in this position before too. I made something I felt like it was great and people were pointing things out. Uh, that weren't quite up to standard and they were things I didn't even think of, didn't even know of, or actively thought were not good ideas or, or bad criticism because I thought they made the product worse if I changed them in the way they suggested or changed them at all. But then I actually tried experimenting and changing it and then I could see how it was better. So it's not just enough to get the criticism even if you don't take it, you have to actually employ it for a moment just to test it even. And you know, sometimes, maybe even a lot of the times, you do know what's best and you try it and it doesn't work and you're like, yeah, that's why I thought it wasn't going to work, but at least you know for sure now. I do wanna say, however, don't let this like quest for improvement impede on you actually doing things though, like eventually finish them and move on to the next thing. But what you should do is make it as good as it can be. And if you feel like you've done it justice to the very best of your ability, then yeah, it's right to release even if it's not perfect. And you know, it's not going to be anyway, so don't get caught up in that. My biggest tip for improvement when you're trying to do something creative is make the mistakes and then observe those mistakes. Like really try to understand them and then try to do that specific thing better the next time. Or at least each time you're working on a creative project, try to focus on one specific element to do better than you did last time. Because when you're actually trying to focus on one element to do better, then you're not getting overwhelmed by all of them, and then you can actually start compounding your improvement. It's a matter of time because you're trying to master each element so that you can put them all together to eventually make something that's great in every aspect. People get really caught up in trying to get things perfect on their first try or whatever, so they just take absolutely forever trying to perfect every element when they haven't even, you know, they haven't even been learning how to do it that long, so you can't master every element at the same time because one, that'll take forever. And two, you haven't learned the process yet. It's not only a matter of understanding what each element is, you also need to understand the process for each element. That's why like in a in a uh, television industry or whatever, if someone wants to be like a director, they have to know how to do pretty much everything already. That's why that's like a qualification for a role like that. Don't let your mistakes get you down. Let them be pathways to improvement because that, that's how you're going to get better. I know this is sounding familiar to when I was talking about failure and stuff, but it's very connected. And I feel like 
If you're rushing, you're almost certainly going to be failing, don't get me wrong there, but you're not going to be improving because you're not actually taking in what you've learned. So don't rush, really intently focus on what you're doing in the moment so that by the time you get to what you are rushing to get to, you'll be in much better shape and be able to do it much better than you would have been otherwise, even if it's still not perfect. So go out, be creative, and uh, keep on keeping on.